Hi, my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today I'm going to teach you the bass part out of the Men at Work song, Dr. Heckler, Mr. Jive, one of my favourites. Here's what we're doing there, playing over a B chord for the intro and a lot of the verse as well. The song's got a pre-chorus and a chorus. If we learn those three parts, you've got the whole tune. Uh, what we're doing over that B, 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 second fret of your third string, straight up, second fret, fourth string, F sharp, to the open A, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. Is what you're playing in the intro, we then use that in the verse as well, but we drop the open out of bar number one, or should we say bar number three of a four bar sequence, easier to play than to talk about. That is what you were using over the B set of chords in the verse. The only other part of the verse then is our run over the A chords. Sounds like this. So let's explain what we're doing over the A, all played on fourth string, A notes at fifth fret, to the G, to the F sharp, E open, so five, five, three, three, two, two, O, oh. and then a passing note to head back towards the A. And the second half, B and back to the A without the walking and that gives you your intro and verse do look up my cover version you'll see a tab appearing above me now or in the links below also in the links below you'll find a link to the tab sheet I'm looking over at the tab sheet just here on my left uh, you get that on my Patreon page, Reeslet on Patreon, R-H-Y-S-L-E-T-T -T, for the search on Patreon. You get all the tab sheets to the videos on this particular channel. Pause the video, let's just play the verse once. Again. Two more times. Last one. And you're heading into the pre-chorus. Pause the video. I did make a little mistake in the uh, end of the verse. Get the tab sheet. You'll find out what that mistake was. And when you're ready, let's learn this pre-chorus. The pre-chorus. We're playing root notes in a crotchet pattern. That's the one beat one. And make it bouncy. Okay, so reading the root notes off for you, we're gonna B, second fret, third string, E, second fret, second string, A, second fret, first string. So just straight down, fret two on string three, string two, string one, to a D. You could play the open string, I'm playing the fret five. To a G, third fret on your top string, G, 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 C, 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 B, two, three, four. So just that little lick at the end there. Nines on both the first and the second string together. Back to nine and then eight on first string. 
and then nine on your second string. The suspended fourth of the B chord, the B chord itself, and then the B root note. For those of you who know your music theory, that's your pre-chorus. Pause the video when you're ready, let's learn the chorus. It's very simple, sparse playing. We've got F sharp and E as our two root notes there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. F sharp, E. It's on second fret, open on the fourth string. So there are your notes to play. A little percussive element. Just getting one of those muted strings before your second F sharp. So one and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. That's the space where you need to put it. Uh, really that takes care of much of this song. That's the whole chorus. Pause the video, maybe look up my cover version as already mentioned, which will take you through from start to finish. Put all these pieces of the puzzle in context. And when you're ready, let's just tidy up what we do in the solo or other variations in the song. So just looking at some variations, we find we've got our verse. Um, what he does just before the second pre-chorus, so at the end of verse two, he changes octave. On that run, so nothing too tricky. Uh, pre-chorus two, same idea. Single notes as opposed to the chords. At the end of pre-chorus one, chorus two, um, the same. We then get the uh, sort of the synthy keyboardy solo, which is using the verse, but instead of doing the verse run, he's just going one, two, three, four with the beat. Grab the tap sheet, all this will probably make a lot more sense. Ah, there's a run, that's right. So in pre-chorus two and pre-chorus three, listen closely to the recorded version. Over the D chord, you'll hear this descending run. D, C, B, A. And it's walking you back to the G chords going through the scale. You get a double pre-chorus in this third pre-chorus and at the end of it, instead of doing, he's going B, two, three, four, slide up an octave to 14th fret. Maybe I put that all in context. Uh, but, and da -da. Away you go into the last chorus. That's the whole song. That's all you need to play start to finish. Dr. Heckler and Mr. Jive, the opening track off Cargo. If you've learned something from this lesson, please sign up to the channel by hitting the subscribe button. Click the thumbs up to give it a like. Sign up at the Patreon, get all the tab sheets for the songs that I teach here on this channel. If you've got any questions, comments, or even a request, please leave them on this video, I'll get around to answering that as soon as possible. Good luck playing Dr. Heckler, Mr. Jive on your bass guitar.